and welcome back to Heath Junction. In today's video, we're going to do a layout update. So in this video, I'm going to change the station area, we'll do some trains running, uh, and we'll start doing some testing, etc, etc. Right, we'll get on with the time lapse of removing the cars and starting to do this area. <laughs> Now the surface is painted, but I'll do, I'll probably move around to the side of the layout and uh, maybe do a bit of testing while this dries. I'll be, I'll see you on the other side. So here we are on the other side of the layout, with no one else going by. So yeah, I think the plan is, uh, test a test bit of this point work, um, yeah, we'll, you know, um, take from there, get a few trains running, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Good. Um, just got a few issues with the point work around here, but I'm sure that will be able to be corrected. Um, just with running and cleaning the tracks, it's filthy. But yeah, hopefully, as you can see there, it's so down But the inner surface is running fine with the liner, that's good. So yeah, overall, successful, um, successful front lane. You know, it's been made really, really well. Uh, all the curves are nice and, nice and smooth, there's no environment at all. It's on the board. Yeah. Alright then, I'll um, probably go back round to the uh, car park now. See you on the other side. So here we are on the other side of the layout. It actually, I'm doing it on this side because it actually took a lot longer to do it uh, to dry on the other side of what obviously we saw at the beginning. Uh, so I'm going to do it on this side, exactly the same, you know, the same size and everything, but yeah, we'll do it on this side. So, what I'm planning on doing is I'll put a bit of masking tape down because this is rough, this, this is rough masking tape. Is roughly the, uh, the the width of a car. So if I just get a car, and as you can see, as you can see, it fits perfectly. So there'll be the width of the spaces. And I'm just seem to have another piece here, another piece here. Um, so we've got the lines which will be filled in with the white paint, which is a Vallejo colour. Um, so what I'll do, I'll uh, do that for the time it's camera up. Eight spaces along here, um, and I'll start using some bush material to start doing the bushes at the back. Greenery. Right, I'll see you on the other side. The area around the station, the car park is all uh, masked up, and I can fit eight cars. Um, and I've even got some uh, space for a bus. You can't; it's just just off camera. But I've got space for a, a loading bay bus area, you know, for buses. Um, so yeah, what I'll do, I'm just going to use some Vallejo white paint and just a standard brush, and I'm just going to apply small amounts of paint in between the white lines. Well, in between the masked lines to create the white lines for the parking spaces. And I'll, as usual, I'll do the time lapse camera and yeah, I'll show you, I'll come back to you once we're finished. <laughs> So now that the white lines have been added, um, I can tell you for a fact that I know it is seeped underneath, as you can see here, I know it's it seeped underneath the masking tape, um, you can just see the white, see the patch there, yeah, so it seeps underneath, so when I remove the masking tape, um, it will, I will have to do some touch-ups, uh, but that's no problem, I've got those masking tape and plenty of grey paint left, so um, yeah, I'll go and, uh, I'll go and do that. Um, I'll go and remove the masking tape and uh, I'll do the touch-ups. So I'll be honest with you, that's not as bad as I thought actually. Um, we've got a little bit of seepage, um, especially here, well, may mainly here. Uh, but otherwise, it's not too bad. And 
I'll be able to cover that with a bit of mask, uh, a bit more masking tape and dry paint from a distance. I think it looks quite good. But um, what I'll start doing now, I've got some uh, some foliage material here, and what I'll do, I'll start putting some along the back, um, and as bit as if there's a bit of a liner hedge along the back. So there we go. So what I'm going to do, being extremely careful not to get it in the uh, paint, in the painted areas. I'm just going to get a little bit of material, turn the camera that way a bit, a um, bit of material, squish it onto the back. This will be glued down later and sealed, it'll be sealed. Um, and I'm, I won't go hoovering it up yet, obviously, until it's glued. Um, it take it all up back in the hoover, but um, there we go. So it, it, it starts to make the scene look quite good and obviously with people and accessories it will really really make it look nice so yeah i'll continue with this and i'll come back to you once i've finished so there we go that's the liner hedges along the back so what i'll do with an extremely small brush and then the paint on the end of that brush i'll now just touch up any areas that need touching up. So I've got a bit of, bit of paint. Like that. And there we go. So I'll go and do that for all of them. Hopefully it'll dry clear and it'll all look nice. There you go. Obviously you can, obviously you can see it's quite dark because the paint's got to dry. But, uh, but as you, well, I'll do. But when, when, have you, when did you ever see, well, when have you ever seen an old car park you know, without you know, without any you know oil spots or you know any any dark any dark patches or you know when have you ever seen an old perfect car park? Pretty much never, you know. And it was pretty common that British Railways wouldn't have looked after this car park a lot, you know. Anyway, but anyway, there we go. So I'll go and finish putting these cars on and uh, tidy up and uh, maybe start adding a few figures. So yeah, there we go. All in all, a very good. I'm really happy with that. Really, really happy. see um with the uh little details added like the bins and the tent you know and even the milk churns little milk churn and you know the cars and also some people you know we've got a little man with a with his um, son or dog with his child on his shoulders um and then also you know um post box and a postman and really for me that really finishes off the detail and really 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 improves the scene so there we go one quick thing to finish it off um you can i'm going to use some uh hairspray or you know just some standard uh matte varnish just to seal it all in place idea round the uh round the side of the layout here so my plan is is that if we i'm just going to draw a pencil line now or a pen line even so there you go so if, if i have a little bit of a sort of a greenery area and um, around the back i think that'll really you know improve the scene so what i'll do i'm just going to use some uh just some standard pva glue oh, it's okay, a bit. i'm just going to use some standard washable pva glue uh you know, paintbrush to apply. Um, yeah, and what I'll do, I've got some uh, brown stuff here for the bottom, for the uh, earth layer. And yeah, um, and then I'll come back to you once I've done that. So there we go. Oh, I've applied the brown, as you can see. It's quite a nice colour. Um, and believe it or not, it's actually tea. And this is, this is just uh, dried tea leaves and with some, with a bit of uh, grout, only a little bit of grout, just to make it a little bit lighter. Um, and it, believe it or not, it makes the perfect earth colour. 
and I'll go ahead and put my greenery on top of them um, on top of the uh, brown with a little bit of the help of glue and as I said I'll seal it all in place with a little bit more um, of the old hairspray. I don't want to put too much because I don't want to um, make it crispy if that makes sense but just enough that the pin it down. There we go. So that will dry and I'll now go ahead and well I'll, with a little bit more hairspray I'll go ahead and add some greenery to it. So what I'm going to do I'm going to very quickly Another quick spray of uh, hairspray on the surface. Now I've got my static glass, this is 6mm. I'm just going to apply a little bit into some areas. I don't want, to, you know, I don't want it everywhere um, because I want, to, I want it to kind of be patchy. There we go. I've kind of got the effect I'd like, so I'm just going to hover it over. Pick up all the excess grass I don't need. I'm just going to apply a little thin, very thin layer where there is no static grass. And there we go. What I'll do, I'll quickly get the hoover, suck up the excess, and I'll apply the rest of the green stuff. So I'm back. And what I've actually got here is some coarse, this is a coarser mix. So it's got tea, um, coffee grounds, fresh coffee grounds, and which, are the, which makes it make it look a little bit coarse. I don't know if you'll be able to see that. Compared to the fine, wasn't light compared to that. I and mean, also the colour's quite light. So what I'll do, I'll just put the camera down. There we go. And I'll just sprinkle a few of these thicker bits of um, tea and coffee. And I'm just gonna, just gonna pat it in, um, because that will um and embed itself into the. Uh, into the scenery, so or blow it. Blowing it also does a good does a trick. And I've got some. Uh, where is it? Uh, oh, here it is, right under my nose. Um, I've also got some fresh green stuff. Um, so this is a uh, seen. This is a uh, a coarse foliage product, and I'll just pop a few clusters. Just to break the seam, because it's quite um, it's it's made of um horse hair, um, so it's quite how do I put it um hairy, so yeah. But anyway, there we go. So a few blobs of of green. And I've also got um, if I can find it, in a little Tupperware box down underneath me. I've got some extremely violent, vibrant pink flowers. And um, what I can do, because this is it is summer when I'm modelling, just apply, sprinkle a few of the pink flowers over the top of the grass, just to make it look like a flower in meadow. I have got some. Uh, some uh, a blue and an orange coming, but they just haven't arrived yet. So I don't want to overkill, but there we go. Um, just zoom that, zoom in. So there we go. If I just zoom in, there you go. Just really, it's beginning to look quite good. And what I'll do, as usual, the uh, the old uh, hair sprays back out. I'll just a very quick spray. Don't to uh, do too much. I'm just gonna use a bit of wood here. This might blind the view, but I don't want to get it. Yeah, it does. And I don't want to get it on the road. You see, so I'm just gonna just go quick. There we go. So, so there we go. Um, I'm going to bring it to an end now because I'd imagine this video is going quite lengthy. I've tried to keep them about 10 minutes to keep the interest. Um, but anyway, thanks for watching. Yeah, I'll be back as soon as I can with the uh, part two of Building the Railway series. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment and subscribe. Thank you. Bye.